Bishop Larry Silva of the Diocese of Honolulu, which covers the entire state of Hawaii, joins us now to talk about the challenges Hawaiians are facing and Catholic Church's response. What are the current needs in Maui, Bishop Silva? Uh, the current needs in Maui are for prayer and support of the people who have lost uh, their homes, their loved ones, their livelihoods, uh, and uh, of course, uh, the uh, the funds to rebuild all of those things. Uh, we do have a, a website that uh, uh, through which we can receive donations, and uh, we will have uh, uh, over the the next few years because this is going to take a, a while to rebuild. Uh, we will have uh, the ability to to help people do just that. And now you met with parishioners on Maui at the Sacred Hearts Mission Church last Sunday. We know that faith is so important during these traumatic times. What does shepherding them at a time of such devastation, um, what does that look like? It was very sad to be there. Um, there were about 200 people gathered there. Uh, this is uh, These would be parishioners of uh, the parish in Lahaina, which actually has a uh, the main church, which miraculously was spared uh, from the fire, uh, but uh, it's inaccessible at the moment. Uh, but the, uh, the the people who were gathered there were telling stories of uh, lost uh, loved ones, uh, people burning in their cars because they couldn't escape, uh, the, uh, uh, the loss of homes, loss of jobs. Uh, there were a lot of tears, but a lot of hope. Our, our people really do have faith and hope, and I think that is what keeps them going. And I, I think whatever we can do to to support their faith and uh, and let them know that they are loved is very important. Now, you mentioned that viral video of the church that didn't burn, that miraculous occasion around it being reduced, that everything around it was reduced to ash except this church. And, and you talk about hope. What else can give us hope in these situations? How else are you counseling these families? Well, they, they are very aware that people from all over the country and all over the world are reaching out to them and caring for them and uh, doing what they can to help them. Um, and uh, I think that is a great comfort to them. Uh, so please keep that up. Uh, many people on Maui have told me, um, please come to Maui. Uh, you can't go to Lahaina, obviously, in that area, but uh, tourism is very important for jobs, for the economy. And uh, we, we hope that people will not stay away because of these fires. So that's one thing you can do is come to Maui, come to Hawaii. And, uh, um, you know, there are many other places where you can be. And that really, in a, in a way, will support the people of that island. That's right. The worst thing that could happen now is also an economic collapse. Bishop Silva, you have the entire EWTN global viewing audience praying for Hawaii. Is there anything else you would like to say to them here as they listen to you? Well, I, I am very grateful to all of you for reaching out. Uh, so many, uh, even the Holy Father sent a, a message of, uh, of support and prayer and blessing and uh, um, you know, the, this may, really makes a huge difference to us. And of course, uh, the, the rebuilding process is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Uh, it'll take a long time. And so uh, we hope that we don't get uh, uh, disaster fatigue too quickly uh, and we'll be able to support uh, the people of, of this affected area throughout the years that uh, that support is needed. Well, we commit to you that you will not be forgotten, and we are praying for you and grateful for your courage being there to shepherd all of the people in this tragedy. Thank you so much, Bishop. Thank you so much.